<laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So glad to have you here. So today we're gonna get into some actual tips that are gonna help you grow your business. These are some things that have really set my business apart over the years got me more referrals, got me more clients, got me more higher paying jobs as things have grown along the way. So I'm excited to share these with you guys and see how they help you guys out. So thanks for joining, now let's get into the video. If the market that you're trying to get into is already saturated, guess what that means? It's basically like a proof of concept that there is a big need for that industry. From my point of view, that means that there's a great opportunity for you to get in there, see what people are already doing and figure out ways that you can do it better, faster, higher quality, or a little bit different with your own spin on it. And that can apply for any industry. So what you've got to focus on is you. You don't want to be cutting into your business profits too much unless you have to, or unless it's gonna open up a lot of opportunities for you long-term. My rule of thumb is, is the new gear that I'm wanting to get gonna speed up my workflow, allow me to do higher production quality work, or totally open up a new type of work that I wanna get into? That's it. If it doesn't check those boxes, then probably you don't need to get it, or maybe you need to just rent it and see what you think about it. That means the gear that you're gonna be upgrading to is actually not the gear that you're most excited about, like the new camera that just came out with super slow motion or whatever. It's gonna be the more boring stuff, like C-stands, like Pelican cases, like microphones, like wireless microphones, ND filters, zoom lenses, uh, more lighting, faster computer to edit, all the stuff that's like more behind the scene. It's more the stuff that gives you quality control over your finished product. All right, so I know all of you guys are out there obsessing on how do I get new clients, but if you have clients, listen to this step, it's super important. So the more that you focus on the clients you actually do have, the more value you can add to their business to help them grow their business, the more people are gonna see what that client is doing and want to copy them and want to get in on whatever their little special sauce is. So if that's really good videos, they're gonna be reaching out and saying, hey, who does your videos? I wanna hire them. They're gonna be happy to pay whatever rate that you quote them because they're coming to you because of the quality of your work and the results that they've seen because your client is killing it. So what does that actually mean? So that means, finding new problems that you can solve. So maybe that's learning more about social media. Maybe that's learning more video editing tricks. Maybe that's learning how to do faster turnaround times. Maybe that's learning how to outsource some stuff to where you can provide more things to them. Basically what I'm getting at is the more they grow, the more you're gonna grow. And the more practice you get, the more prepared you're gonna be when these other opportunities come in the future. All you need is like one or two people that are in an industry you want to be in to start talking about you, start referring you to their friends, start posting work that you've done for them on their social media. And once your work's good enough, people are going to come to you. All right, I know that a lot of that is theoretical or long-term stuff that you've got to work on. So now we've got three actual steps on how to get clients. 
So I don't think that there is some magic hack, magic lead generation system out there. The biggest thing you've got to do is fix problems that you have. So you got to get aware of which one of these problems is your biggest problem and start working on it. So the biggest thing that I see is awareness. So that could mean literally nobody knows who you are. Okay. They don't know you exist. So how do you solve that? Some things that I've done in the past are reaching out to people consistently, like one or two people every day, shooting industry related things. Like I've done some like headshot events and that way you meet a lot of people. You could even offer those for free as a great way to get introduced to other people. Reach out to people in the industry and tell them who you are and what type of work you're trying to get into, what type of work you're really passionate about. And over time, things will build up. More people will think of you to refer you to their friends, to themselves. Projects will come up where they need somebody and you'll eventually be the person that more and more people will reach out to. Um, I know that's not like the fun answer where it's like, you're gonna get a job today. <laughs> but that's like realistically, that's how it works. Over time, more and more people become aware of you and you build a reputation for yourself and then you get work. That's it. So uh, you gotta be self-critical on this, not in like a negative way, but in a way of like, okay, what did I do wrong here? How can I do it better? Always be looking for ways you can learn from your shoots, figure out why did this one shot not look good? Okay, what can I do next time to do it better? Okay, how happy was my client getting these shots? Did I deliver what I said I was gonna do? Did my gear work how I want it to work uh, or not? And uh, see what you need to adjust and keep growing from there. This doesn't have to just be like photography or videography skills. This could be people skills like Am I dropping the ball on communication or am I awkward or, <laughs> you know, figure out how, figure out what kind of like things you can talk about on a job to job to where you make people feel comfortable and they're like more happy to work with you. Um, if you have absolutely no idea how to talk to strangers, uh, go get a job at like a coffee shop or something and you're kind of just, <laughs> you're forced to have like small talk with people and over time you'll figure it out or figure out that you hate it and you want to do something totally different. It's not, it's not normal for everybody. So if you're not having people return to you for work, a lot of times it's because you're not getting the stuff back to them as soon as they're expecting it or you're under delivering on what you promised. Maybe you're, maybe you're overworking yourself and you need to figure out ways to outsource some stuff to speed it up. Maybe that's going to help your business grow more than you having complete quality control over every single thing. You could look into outsourcing social media stuff, communication, editing, emailing new clients, Pretty much all that stuff. Uh, you can find stuff either online or, you know, post some job listings on Facebook or LinkedIn and you never know. There might be people that are really excited to get to do something like that. That just, that just want experience and want to start building their career. And you might have an opportunity for somebody. Definitely industry specific, but some industries, speed is way more important than quality. Some industries, quality is way more important than speed. So you got to figure out what industry are you in? What's the most valuable thing that you can focus on and get better, get better, get better, get better at that. Okay. <laughs> and that's it. If you guys do these things, your business should grow. It's not going to be super fast. It's not going to be overnight, but long term, you're going to have a business that's built on your reputation of doing good work and that is where you get opportunities to do higher paying jobs, better work, more work that you like doing, and you get to pick the prices that you're charging. So it's definitely worth the work in the long run. All right, guys, if you like the video, make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe, make sure to leave comments if you like this, if this stuff helps you, if you want any more further detail on any of this stuff, and appreciate y'all being here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.